Your lens doesn't necessarily need to include 3D objects, but that's what defines augmented reality, placing 3D objects in the world. You can either create your own 3D objects, or you can use a website to download free 3D objects with Creative Commons licenses. I like to use a website called Sketchfab. We can navigate to sketchfab.com and then search for anything. Let's go ahead and search for sunglasses. We'll sort by downloadable and then we'll choose something like these glasses here. Make sure you're logged in and go ahead to click download 3D model. We're looking for OBJ or FBX. We'll open up the zip and we'll take both of these. Navigate to our desktop. Let's open up the source folder and extract this test zip file. Copy everything out of here and paste. Close this and let's create a new Lens Studio project. From your Resources tab, let's click Add New, and at the very bottom, click Import Files. Go to your Desktop and Source folder, and now we can click this OBJ file. If you open this object up, you should see a yellow box looking icon. This is your model. You can actually drag this yellow model up to your objects. This is what's called a prefab. As you can see, all of your textures have been assigned to the object automatically. Let's go ahead and add a head binding into our objects. Open up the head binding. Now let's choose our glasses, hover over here, and let's rotate them back to normal so that they're facing the camera. Remember to hit E on your keyboard as a shortcut. We'll get them as good as possible because from the export, they were not rotated perfectly. Hit R to resize. Let's shrink them right down to face size. Let's look around with right clicking our mouse. Hit W. To move them up, paying attention to our preview window. And at this point, let's go ahead and drag this onto the head binding. That way it moves with the person. We'll switch our person1.jpg to video. That way we have a moving reference. And we'll choose someone who might suit the glasses better. Zoom in here. And let's move the glasses around to match the eyes. Once you get the glasses situated on the person's face properly, that's all you need to know to import a 3D object.